head to the phone line and hear from the head coach of the Washington Patriots, Terry Ray. Coach Ray, how are you doing today, sir? Good about you guys. We're doing all right, and let's get into last week's game against Musselman Coach Ray. Unfortunately, your team on the losing end, but what are some of the positive things that you're trying to take away from that game? Uh, we thought Bray did really well on offense again, a quarterback. Uh, he handled himself. Uh, he got uh, dinged up there towards the end of the first half, but he came out the second half and still uh, looked pretty good. Our, our offensive line, we – it has been improving the last couple of weeks. We moved some guys around. Uh, other than that, we kept playing football. Uh, we made some mistakes late in the first half, and we just never could recover from the rest of the game. Coach, your uh, one score in the game was a fumble return touchdown. Um, how do you feel the defense has played this season? We we played pretty consistent to a said uh, we've made so many mistakes this year on offense and defense it's stupid penalties like I mean we drove the ball down the field right now on muscle men and then end up having stupid penalties or we get turnovers or so forth and so on but the defense has been consistent all year uh, we got young linebackers and young secondary players and uh, usually what happens when you have that is situation we have a breakdown in communications or we make mistakes to where we just give up big plays Coach Ray, I know it's the first year for you. I know it's a very young team as well, and hopefully the change gets made. But I know for the past few weeks and for a majority of this season, it seemed like those penalties were always an occurring issue for your team. Granted, it's been an issue for a decent amount of teams here throughout the area. But I guess just for your team specifically, why do you feel like uh, the mistakes just never got cleaned up? Uh, it, it was it was a reoccurring thing every week with us. I mean, as many times you go over stuff, it's just holding's holding. Yeah, and it, for some odd reason, we get called for holding a lot. Uh, but but uh, no, we haven't cleaned up certain mistakes. Coach, heading into this week, um, Jefferson County rivalry as you guys take on Jefferson. Um, this is your first time coaching in this rivalry but what have you I guess learned about it so far and um, how exciting is it to now be a part of it uh, I got to experience the JV game portion of it on Monday uh, which it, it was pretty uh, exciting and there, it, this is an interesting time it's spirit week here the, ki- the school and the kids are doing stuff for rivalry week with spirit stuff at school uh, I'm excited and looking forward to being part of this uh, tradition what have you seen so far from Jefferson on the film that you've got to watch? Uh, they're really athletic. They're solid on offense. They've got a lot of athletes. And they like to get them in the space. Uh, their quarterback can scramble, and if he gets in the open, uh, he'll take off running the football. Defensively, they're they're pretty solid. Uh, Clinton Goins is going to be a beast coming off that one side. Uh, they got uh, their linebackers are extremely fast and running to the football, and their secondary is very, very athletic. Coach, I would presume uh, this is your team's senior night. Uh, what has this senior class meant to you? Uh, this senior class is important because it's my first one here. Uh, these these five, six guys bought into the uh, system and have tried to push along as much as they can. It's always hard when you're going into your senior year and you get a coaching change because um, they were used to one way, and now it's totally different, especially when you only have, like, five or six guys as seniors if you have a, a large and, uh, football team. But these guys are important because they're the ones that started it all here. Coach Ray, traditionally this rivalry uh, gets – pretty close outcomes between the two schools but unfortunately the past two years it's been a for Washington at least a blowout loss at the hands of Jefferson how or what does your team need to do to get more competitive and maybe pull off the upset we just got to play mistake free football and play it for all four quarters uh, we, we have a habit. Usually we start fast, and but we have issues in the second half. Uh, we got to start a game fast, and we need to finish. Coach, our uh, fun question this week is, who is your favorite athlete? Overall athlete, like on my team athlete, that, that's a pretty broad one. Just like overall, maybe like growing up, 
Who'd you? Of all uh, time, Brett Favre. Yeah. Why Brett Favre? Uh, I was a kid growing up as a Packer fan in the eighties. You know, then uh, Mikowski uh, came in, and then he got hurt, and Brett Favre came in in 92 against the Browns, and from that day on, I was a Brett Favre believer. <laughs>